bad. I don't know who their quarterback is. He wasn't one of the main focuses. I wish the runoff was going to be annoying that there's a runoff. I feel like we should reach the minute 7 because of that. Brandon, it's always nice when you get recognized with an individual reward. And he was the FC Offensive Player of the Week last week, but when you do it in a win, so much the better. Absolutely, and he was all talking about that win, not so much the award he received on Wednesday. That's a nice looking award. I wonder if he took it home, you know, got in the car, showed it off to the kids in the neighborhood, passed it around. I wonder what he did with it. Oh my god. Take a shot to start the drive, but this is gonna wind up incomplete. Quandre digs there defensively. Well that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. To throw once more on second and ten. Haskins. And the Steeler pressure too much. Dang it. Ed Oliver brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. Now Haskins to throw it. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Oh, my God. Julio, catch that. Well, they were live, but it falls to the ground and brings up. God damn, the Steelers have a good defense. Come on. You got this, guys. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you got to love it what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Yeah. This one taken just inside the 10. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here. Oh my God! Catch the ball, God! Go for it on fourth down. It all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I got all right, Herndon. Go pick it up for him. Didn't He's happen. open. He's also wide open. Touchdown. He came back down. And start over and rebuild that confidence. Herndon, I'm gonna need you to have another 16 uh, catch game. Took him five tries, but he is able to complete that first pass of the game. And could you hear the exhale all the way up here? Not just from him, coaching staff, offensive line, receivers. Ooh. Can they get him going in a nice groove where he becomes a little more consistent throwing the football? Because you miss those first two, but you get up the 0 for, 4, 0 for 4 range. That can be a little tricky, but able to settle in, hopefully. Yeah, now you don't have any... The spook kicks aren't really spook kicks. Pew, 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 pew. Kind of like spook kicks. Kind of like spook kicks. Across the 45. Charles Thursday night game. I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for looking for. It's a who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night. Guys have a little extra pep in their Oh my god, Boykin. 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 <gasps> Boykin is a monster. Kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they've been tied. And in a big way, Ooh, was a the rookie got some jukes. Oh. And the Browns getting set to go. The they trail a one score deficit 14 7 as they come up first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. How many times do we say that? And now look at this. Oh, my Game God. Ball. Earl Thomas, you did him dirty. And his guys are going to take over at their Earl Thomas just made Callaway fumble. See where you go to your quarterback and say, why'd you even throw that? <laughs> yeah, I think you do, and I think you want looking for his tight end room. That's what I wanted. User lurk. <laughs> Smith. 
And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games. Oh, and I, I almost blocked the punt. Look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. I heard it's wide. I've been saying that all season. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Why is Nixon? They go play action here on first down. Oh my god, I almost threw a pick. Thank god that was a defensive lineman. Second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. It's literally laying on his chest. Are you fucking kidding me? Real life, that's a catch. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. That catch for his career is number 731, and that's the number that Calvin Johnson ended with when he stopped his career in 2016. Oh my God, Herndon Little Boy, that dude. As someone else continue to elevate their game and put this number well in his rearview mirror, I think. Wiggins in the game? Oh baby, you know that's a tutty. You know that's a tutty. Oh no, that's not. Oh, that is a tutty. Oh, he. This guy has a fucking. Ninety-five throw power for real. What he has just no accuracy. No, he's pretty accurate too. Like, his beat throw at least. His, his short routes by had that. He was in, I think all of his accuracy is around 70. And he gets it inside and when he, when he's backer, he's back. 15 yards on the play, first down. Got a hell of an arm. Back to the air. Thank you, Watt, for dropping that. Almost picked. Instead, second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep it off. Well, actually, yeah. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much oh, success on the scoreboard. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Coming up at the half, a reminder. Uh, intentional grounding, there wasn't any pursuit for 20 yards. And have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what. And that's going to be caught. Browns touchdown. Chris Godwin with touchdown 14 all following the interception last time and led to a score. Oh my god, Flowers, you monster. Trayway. He was looking for Landry that time. So that's back to back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of. Ooh, that was a bad pass. Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. Now it's Haskins. And almost picked off. Yeah, I almost I, I tried forcing that. Now it's fourth down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. <laughs> Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. I knew I was going to throw that. He told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that. And oh, Jameis intercepted. Jabril. Peppers, and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Jameis Winston is the GOAT. Now, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception. Dang. Come on, Haskins, you gotta throw that better for him. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. They're going for a receiver there, already has one touchdown in this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying, even though they weren't successful. Let's go. 
Haskins on third down. It's all right, Herndon. That was a bad pass. Hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. Why did he keep trying to run on me? He's ran 11 times. He only has nine yards. I think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy. Luke Calloway. In the back pocket. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. <laughs> he saw his big ass Aaron Donald coming at him. He got scared. Oh. On first Real? Gilmore's not on that route. No, I'm throwing it. As long as Gilmore's not a Herndon, I'm throwing that every time. Oh, come on, Cookie. Seven seconds left in the first half. Second and goal from inside the five. Second down, Haskins eluding the pressure. Herndon. Beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit and forced the field goal. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. Now Haskins on first down. Open man left side. That's the tight end Herndon. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year. In the oh my God, Herndon. Really Open again. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. On first down, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but and that's gonna be cool. wow. <laughs> Crazy. Julio Jones, those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the linebacker, Talbot Smith. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here, when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt. And in a big way. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Third down, here's Haskins. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Yeah, Ooh, Godwin. He takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. And you don't have to tuck your head in and tell him to go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he's Let's able go. to get Let's this go. one down to the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Goddamn, he jumped it. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. This quarterback now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. And this is caught at the 8. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the 5 all the way to the 3. Looking to throw Haskins. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Watt, his second sack of the night. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. Yeah. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Antonio threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. And now here is another interception. Picked out by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions right, now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Is the scouting report different than what he expected? Boom, 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 boom. For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Haskins looking to throw on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Morgan. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second. Oh baby. Just found a hole in that zone. And he's Come on. Cookies. Line. That one a first down pickup of eight. Do my eyes deceive me or is he? And he takes there you go, Cookie. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Well, baby. Haskins going to try to throw it. A hit turned it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. But well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about it. Uh.